they were saying, we're going to attack USA in their soil, and they did that. So for months and a couple of years before that, they were saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and we did not take that seriously, and they did it. Let me share my story. I was born in Iran as a Muslim. I was very devout in my early years. But when I came to U.S. as a student, it was a time of revolution, and I wanted to devout my, my life to serving Islam. But I said, I need to know what's in Islam. So I got a Quran, and I read it because I wanted to be a good Muslim. But the more I read Quran, I realized to be a good Muslim, I have to be a violent Muslim. There are so many verses about commanding me to kill those infidels, those who oppose Islam. So I said, let me see what the Bible also says. And I didn't expect to find anything new. But when I read the Bible, the uh, book of Matthew and the New Testament, I realized, no, these are two different books. They're as if they're two different gods. And which one is true? Because in the Bible, I was reading about God of love who asked me to love my enemies, to bless those who curse me. But here... In Quran, I was reading, I, I got to kill those who oppose me. So after a few months of struggle, I realized I do not want to be a, a, a terrorist. I don't want to be a violent person to kill those who are against me and against Islam. I love this God. I love a God of love who forgives. So that's why I decided to follow Christ. And the Lord has changed my life and has used me to share the gospel with so many people. Now, about Islam, I experienced it firsthand. So when you look at the true Islam, a true Islam is a violent Islam. I'm not talking about the politically correct version of Islam in the West. Look at the Islamic nations where they're following Islam and the and Quran very precisely, closely. Look at the Taliban. Look at ISIS. They are following the book of Quran, that commandment that are, that are there. Uh, one challenge that ISIS always made was this. Tell us, ISIS made this, tell us what are we doing that's against Quran. Tell us, bring one verse that tells us that we are doing the wrong thing. Now we have Taliban, we have Iranian Islamic government that's threatening. They are saying, we will attack Israel. We will wipe Israel off the map. Iranian government is developing nuclear bomb and they're not shy about it. They are saying once we have it, we will attack Israel. They're not shy about it. Their theology, it does not discourage them, encourages them. Why? Because they believe if they attack Israel and Israel attack back, one million of Jews will be killed. They say that, I've read that. And uh, in retaliation, Israel will attack Iran and one million of Iranians will die. But, but, they say, one million of them will go to hell, one million of us will go to heaven. Their theology say, if we do violence, if we attack, and if we get killed, we go to heaven. So, we need to take that seriously. In summary, the anniversary of 9-11, we need to take Islam seriously. We need to take all these threats by Iran seriously. Attacking Israel is serious. Attacking the United States is serious. And we need to be alert and pray for it. Another thing happened on 9-11. The Lord woke me up and said, you need to do something. Islam is expanding. And by the way, this year is the 20th year that we went on satellite. On Iran Alive, we started on December 1st, 2011. And we have been, at uh, 2001, and we have been on the air for 20 years. So pray for us, but more importantly, pray for Israel and pray for Iran because Iran has the fastest growing evangelical population in the world. Iran has experienced Islam for 40 years and they're saying, we don't want this. There is a battle for the souls of Iranians. The government wants to destroy Israel, but the people of Iran are saying, we don't want to do that. What has Israel done to us? It's you, the government of Iran. You are the ones who have ruined our lives. So this is the situation. Please pray for Muslims. We love Muslims. Pray for Israel. Pray for the United States. But take Islam and their threats seriously, please.